I'm sorry, Zach, that your favorite character died that early into the game. Gat's not dead. I don't believe he's dead either. But uh, this is Saints Row 3. Welcome to what, the fourth video? <laughs> the body of Mr. Gat will be a message for all who oppose the Syndicate. There is no mercy, only death. Don't mourn your friend. You'll be joining him soon. Let's grab a ride and figure out where we are. Steelport. It's kind of like Bangkok's abusive father. So you've been here before? Spring break. This where Field Boss comes from? What the hell is it? You don't want to know. Fine, be like that. So where are we going? Look, I was really high the last time I was here. Just drive. It'll come back to me. I feel naked without a gun. Why don't you just look up friendly fire on your phone? Come again? It has GPS, right? Check your map. So they've kind of reworked the map system a little bit. It's much quicker to get into your map, select your waypoint, that kind of thing. The phone is completely redone. It doesn't take Call forever just to load in. the phone. The and the it's just, I don't know, it's a much smoother guns. experience. Yeah, That's why I count on you, hon. You can't be serious. They have more than enough to go around. What's to worry about? Getting shot comes to mind. Bullets? Whatever, I dove through a moving plane. Also a shitty idea. Way to channel Pierce. It's very natural sounding. Not cool. Even hanging out a lot? Going on some dates, picking up place settings. All right, all right. We'll pick a fight with the military. That's my girl. That's where I Coming here for spring break means you gotta know someone here. Yeah, I keep up with one of my exes. This place big at all? I already offered it to Pierce and the boys. You kind of dodged the question. I know. So, back to Friendly Fire, a uh, familiar place if you've played the Saints Row games before. I gotta do a little sexy dance for the Saints, Saints Flow, Flow man. THQ <laughs> sent me a, an actual Saints Flow can I, with the game. I might steal that from you. It was very thoughtful Just of them. The, did you I drink didn't it? drink it, no. Why not? I assumed it's worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> it's a collectible I'm, item. Maybe Come we'll, on. Maybe we'll give that away. <laughs> um... So they've done a few interesting things here with the friendly fire system. Obviously, you can go in there and buy ammo. There's a bunch of different grenades. Apparently, I'm not going to show you what it is, though. <laughs> you just screw that <laughs> shit. I thought I was leave. going to show you, but you have a mission to do, and you got to go. <laughs> I do. I don't have time to look at the upgrades for weapons and stuff. She doesn't have time to open a door. She's going to no, jump through the jump windshield. right through. I was like, Come on, if, you, if you're going to get into a car, you might as well get into it with style. You know, what's opening doors and then closing them? That's the no, thing of the past. That's why you break the glass. You know, the Dukes of Hazard pioneered Christ. jumping into cars that way. Okay, so I'm just trying to channel them. Ah, oh, that's another old reference for all you young kids. You're I think there's a Ben Stiller movie, though, recently, you know, a couple years ago about Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah, it had something Jessica like that. something Simpson. in Simpson. Her, yeah. So, you guys should know at least You're not somewhere. driving on the sidewalks. I'm not. I generally am a good driver, and I stick to the main road most of the time. Uh, unless there's a car in my way. Then, then you then, just run into then it. Then I'm just like, whatever. Sidewalk it is. Uh, so here I am, I'm Holy going to go get out, to get out of my way, I don't care. Well, what's the plan? That's my plan. Doing this on Veterans Day. Oh, <laughs> Rayman, he was, was, You heel stomped him. And he needed to die. Alright? Because he, he's in the way of my bullets. He's in the I way. need to go get my you guns. Need bullets. I need my guns need and my bullets. bullets. They're going to take your bullets. And you know, they need to die. They're in my way. They're trying to prevent me. And the mission says right there in the top left corner, kill the guards. It doesn't say they're soldiers. Okay, it's they're not, guards. They're just guards. And they're standing in the way of your bullets. Exactly. Just get out of the way of my bullets. my bullets. Why are you looking at that? Boom, right in the face. That's how I do it. Like I said, headshots, not the easiest thing. It looked like I shot that guy in the head that first right. time and it didn't drop. So it's a little give or take. You know, if you get... I'm going to blame it on the gun I was using. Is you guys switched guns. Now, this is the more advanced gun. You upgrade this and it just becomes a beast. You've got a flashlight. It does have a flashlight. It doesn't give away your position. Uh, this guy likes to be a jerk and not stand in a place where I can shoot him. He's making it difficult. He's he making to your it bullets. difficult. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> just bam. Drop his head into the concrete. And that'll teach him a lesson. Just okay. get down and stay down. Yeah, the first two kicks really didn't connect. <laughs> Apparently not. But, you know, it's it, all in due time. You know? There's, like, no law enforcement at all. Let's right. take it with and find out. Uh... Well, you know, they, they don't know what I'm doing. This is a covert operation. No Homeland Security, the fact that the plane just fell from the sky. <laughs> well, you know, no they're, they're, they're all shit. dealing with the plane now, so that's why this is going on without yeah, any And that's your interview, you just be like, I need the bullets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, 
It's good stuff. Don't don't question it. Just accept my, it. My objective was to was to destroy the plane. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? I couldn't advance. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, now you want to notice when I went to the friendly fire, I bought three grenades. Those are useful during this mission, not at this moment, as you can, there's no groups of people, obviously. But in an upcoming moment, you have to defend your position. Are those missiles? Those are missiles or bombs of some oh, sort. God. In fact, you're gonna steal one for a later mission. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Okay, no, but no spoilers. No spoilers. You're gonna steal a bomb. Spoiler. That's the whole point. Uh, if you, if we weren't talking while they're talking, you would hear them talk about. Oh look, there's guns and stuff like that. Oh look, look a there's bomb. a gun on the ground. Hey, you're the one who said it. So they're gonna steal a bomb. They're gonna take these guns. There's a UAV drone. Uh, it's like system. Call of Duty? It is basically like Call of Duty. It's kind of like mocking Call of Duty a little bit. <laughs> okay. With that. But this is the part where you're holding your position. Uh, I kind of been, am able to keep them at bay from right here. If you stay in this part, you've got a pretty you know narrow corridor for them to come at you from. They do try to flank you on the right, and you will see me get brutally shot because uh, I'm not watching my, my right side. Again, these police riot shield guys, they're, they're jerks. They're annoying. They're jerks. But just keep blasting them away, and eventually they, they raise their shield. Is the objective still to get bullets? The objective is to hold your position at the moment. Yeah, see, now he's dead, but now I'm getting hit on the right. And I don't realize it yet. But my, as my health gets lower and lower, I'm like, what the heck is shooting me? Oh, there's oh, a guy. Oh, it's that let's, guy. Let's shoot him. <laughs> let's get him, actually, and not just stand there and take the punishment. Uh, otherwise, you might die and have to Another restart. Another family this lost a father. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll support their children, with welfare, or child support, whatever the hell happens here. The last guy was not very intelligent. No, not really. See, but normally you'd throw a grenade into that group if they were getting closer. And well, luckily, just they just didn't. Kills them. But yeah, but they didn't come in closer, so it's not a, that big of a deal. He's gonna make an entrance, of course. He's got a fleet of helicopters and. More dead fathers, uncles, brothers. Transvestites. <laughs> Possibly. Trans this is a Saints Row game. So now you use the UAV drone. It see, it's just like Ooh, Battlefield. Yeah, I saw the trailer with this in it. Yeah, see? So basically the left trigger is a guided missile and the right trigger is a, well, a dumb fire missile. It's, it's not a smart missile, but you know, it's just like a rapid fire, just aim and shoot kind of thing. The guided missile is cool, because once you shoot the guided missile, you can control how fast it goes. Left trigger to slow it down, right trigger to speed it up. And you, you'll notice I'm not using the guided missiles at the moment, because if you notice, there's a circle there. That means it's a stronger enemy. It's a big tank. So this is the guided missile. I can control how fast or how slow it's going. If you get a direct hit, boom, one shot, done. How are you able to even do this, like just break into a facility? Just lay waste to an entire city like this. Zach, that is. I'm Ray Siegel. I'm capable of many things. Okay, sometimes I break into military places and steal tons of guns. Sometimes I'm running on rooftops, sticking hidden blades in people's necks. I'm a, you know, I'm a person that can do many things. A jack of all trades, one might say. <laughs> uh, I jest, obviously. No, I don't do those things in real life. I'm, of course, talking about video games. You confuse uh, the two see, sometimes. See, now that looked oh, like that a direct hit to me, but, you know, it was close enough. He exploded anyways. They keep coming. They do keep coming. After, just... like, the fifth tank that you destroy. <laughs> it's like, well, maybe I'll be the lucky tank that takes them down. Let's try a nope. different tactic. <laughs> I, I wanted to see if I could get that one going fast, but I couldn't. But he, he blew up anyways. You know, like I said, I'm good at what I do, even if I'm, you know, not 100% precise. So now here, you don't want to pay attention to any of the other tanks or enemies. Like this guy here, it's a waste of time. Just gonna run him over, oh. run to the tank. You're good. He gets to live his life. Yes, he gets to live. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe he broke his neck when he fell though. <laughs> So this is, you know, just an on-rail shooter kind of. It kind of reminds me of the uh, first mission in Saints Row 2, when you're on the boat and you're escaping from the prison, and you're on the back of the boat and you're shooting on the helicopters as they're chasing you. Kind of similar to that, only this time you're in a helicopter of your own and you're shooting many, many more helicopters. So what are there, like out. 10 helicopters here and none of them can take your one helicopter down? That's, it's, uh, that's just how good I am. I'm not even piloting the thing and there's like, dang. These are the same people that left the ability for you to just bomb the exactly. entire city floating above. Obviously, they really need to work on their defense, defensive training programs. Because, uh, yeah, they're not too bright. 
I don't know why that one's always so far away, but he's hard to hit when he's such a small target. I'm really liking the idea that all of these buildings have lights on, so there are people in those rooms all, watching right? all of these helicopters. <laughs> or it's like, like when a helicopter careens out of control on fire and just smashes into one of the buildings. Yeah, like, you know there's one guy there with a flip or something. I'm gonna get this on YouTube. <laughs> right? And then just a helicopter smashes into him. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad that they don't have those kind of damage effects on the building, because that could raise some eyebrows in certain communities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These helicopters, they don't do actual damage when they crash. No, they don't. They um, not, only damage to themselves and other vehicles and people. <laughs> not the buildings themselves. Damaging people, okay. Damaging buildings, not no. okay. <laughs> Crosses the line. Exactly. But, I mean, that's pretty much it for that. I, I'm pretty good. Like I said, just shoot the helicopters. It's a simple objective. And they all die. In the end here, you've just laid waste to a city. You've got your bullets. Yep. You've protected a bomb. <laughs> I love it just when you break it down into simple objectives. All in a day's work. So what's next? What's next is you go back to Stillwater. What? No, this is my fight too. Girl, you don't get messy. Let us take care of business. Fuck you. I'm doing this for Johnny. All right, well, if we're going to bring in the boys, we're going to need a new place. You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. Relax, Shandi. We got it all covered. That was a completely ridiculous suggestion that we use weapons. It's okay. We don't need to use weapons. <laughs> We've got it covered. Well, you know, you got to make sure your bases are covered. You can't just go crazy with your guns. You gotta have a plan. You gotta have some footing. Seems like you can go crazy with weapons in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Maybe a little bit. But, you know, when it comes to taking on the big bosses. So here you've got your first crib. It's a small place. I actually have never used this crib once since I've started playing this game. But now you use all your assassination targets and vehicle thieves, thefts, all that's right there in your phone. You don't have to go searching for them around the city. I do want to point out that the city itself right now is kind of barren. There's no... Uh, activities to do at the moment. You actually have to go through the story to unlock those activities well, in the no world. there's no activities because you just fucking destroyed the entire city. <laughs> the entire city is just leveled. Uh, and so here I'm like, I don't like this outfit. Let's we're gonna take the shirt off. We're gonna take the shirt off. I leave take the, the bra off. No, it's fixed. We're gonna, take, we're gonna leave the bra. The the pixelation <laughs> thing bugs me. I don't, Not in a dirty way. It's just I don't like the way it looks. Uh, I'm gonna keep the pants on. I'm just gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of what's <laughs> under there. Pervert. You know. <laughs> oh, you uh, get a close up. <laughs> you know, well, you know, I gotta give the give the boys what they want. So I have as many ladies watching. <laughs> this is more Saints Row like. Yeah. So, but you can all customize your crib, your weapons. You can ev eventually customize your gang, all that stuff, right from your cribs, just like you could in Saints Row 2. The nice place of having a crib is after you kill everyone, you can just go home and take a nap. Exactly. Read a magazine. Exactly. But um, so like I was saying with the activities, you have to go through the story and unlock the activities within the story, and then the activities slowly become available within the city. Okay. But the only thing the activities are good for are respect and money. Because well, now that's the only thing activities are good for in real life. Well, too, no, because so. in Saints Row 2, you do activities and you'd learn, earn upgrades. You could, you know, infinite sprint, that kind of thing, you know, infinite health, no falling damage. All of that stuff is now here, right in your phone, as upgrades that you spend money on. Okay. So it's different system. It's kind of a good system. I'm slowly learning to like it. I, I really liked the system in Saints Row 2 because I liked doing those missions and getting rewards for them. Now the missions just seem like a way to get more money a little faster and it's, I don't really know if that's enough incentive for me so I just kind of do the missions that I like like the insurance fraud or the heli assault but I mean here it's just you get to a certain level certain things get unlocked you have the you money can, you can buy you can muscles buy you yes can. you can buy you know more ammo you can buy it's you know different things for your American homies way. Pretty much. Uh, it's not a horrible system, but it is different. So thank you for watching. I want to hope you guys keep watching more of these videos. Zach, say goodbye. Bye.